Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at using the History tool in Google Chrome. On average, a person visits over 130 web pages per day. That comes close to 50,000 web pages per year. So, what do you do when you want to get back to one of those 50,000 web pages, but you don't have it bookmarked and you can't quite remember the web address? Well, thankfully, Google Chrome has you covered. As you are browsing the web, Google Chrome keeps track of every site you visit in your own personal history. This can help us in at least four different ways, including reopening a web page that you accidentally closed out of, searching for a web page by keyword, searching for a web page by date, and opening a web page that you accessed on a different device. Let's take a look at how to do each one of these. So we all know the feeling. You have found an interesting website and then you accidentally close out of the page. Well, no worries. Google Chrome's history tool can save the day. Simply go up to the top right hand corner of the Chrome browser and then click on the down arrow button. This will open up a list of your currently open tabs, but also a list of your recently closed tabs. Just scroll down to the section with the recently closed tabs and click on the web page that you accidentally closed. And just like that, it'll open back up. So what if you're trying to find a web page you visited, but it's not one that you just closed out of? Perhaps it was something you opened days or weeks ago. Well, the history tool allows us to search by keywords to help us find any site that we've been at. Here's how that works. Start by clicking in the address bar at the top of the screen. Next, type in the at symbol in the address bar. This will give you a drop down menu with the option to search your history. Give a click on search history and then type in a keyword or keywords for the site you want to find. As you type, matching sites from your history will be listed. Simply click on the site you want when you find it to open it back up. So next, what if you're trying to find a page from your history, but the keyword search was not enough to locate the web page? If you can remember the day that you visited the site, you can also use the history tool to browse through sites by date. Here's how that works. Go up to the top right hand corner of Chrome and click on the three dots button. From the drop down menu, choose history and then choose history again. This will open up your detailed history page where you can scroll back through time to see all of the pages you visited. If you know the date that you were at the site, you can scroll down to that date and hopefully you can locate the page that you were looking for. And finally, what if you're wanting to open a website you were visiting, but you realize it was on another device? Maybe you were using your work computer when you went to the site, but now you're on your home computer, or it was on a laptop, but now you're on your desktop. Well, as long as you were signed in to both devices with your Google account, you can use the history tool to pull up recent sites from other devices. Here's how that works. Go to the top right hand corner of Chrome and click on the three dots and then from the drop down menu choose history. In the menu you will see a list of your recently closed web pages on your current device, but if you look below that you will see other devices that you've been logged into. Here you will see a list of the most recent web pages that you visited on those other devices. Simply click on a site from that list to open up that page on your current device. And that's it. Google Chrome's history tool is a super helpful feature to open accidentally closed pages, to find sites from the past, and even access links that you visited on another device. Now be sure to add to your browsing history the rest of the blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. 
And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.